take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. As always, this depends on what you're doing. If the rig is just for gaming, 64 gigabytes of RAM is about 48 gigabytes too much. No one needs more than 16 gigabytes of RAM just for gaming at the moment. This might change in a few years, but not now. Make your mark, take our lead. Even deep learning is overkill for that 256 GB of RAM. 32 GB of RAM can do the same thing. For home use or just daily tasks, office work, gaming, 256 GB of RAM is way beyond enough. However, if you are doing some intense deep learning and modeling with AI development, 256 might be a must. Make your mark, take our lead. Generally there is not harm in having more memory than needed. Maybe the Hibernate file can grow too large if you have a small or just full disk. Other than that, there's no downside to having too much RAM. Take our lead. Generally speaking, the amount of RAM does not affect the FPS. RAM is used to store data that needs to be readily available for a program to run. More memory allows the program to have more data stored. Generally speaking, the amount of RAM does not affect the FPS. Take our lead. So, you get the most performance when you use at least one stick on each memory channel, so two memory sticks. If you install four memory sticks, you won't get better performance, it's still just two memory channels transferring data to the processor cores.15 November 2019. Take our lead. Therefore, it is suggested that your phone should ideally contain 64 gigabytes of storage, even if you have opted out of the auto-download option for media over mobile data and Wi-Fi. If you are on Android, then it is advisable to get the Files app by Google that uses AI to clear up the junk.14 December 2018. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.